Welcome to Pattern and Craft. I'm Courtney and today I thought I'd do a quick little wrap-up video. I've been doing bracelet collection videos so far and I have two of those and I actually released one earlier in July. But I thought it would, since I'm pretty prolific at making crafty things and bracelets, I thought it would be nice to do uh, monthly wrap-ups like I've seen some other channels do. So here's my July wrap-up, but it's actually not even a full month. It's it's about, you know, half a month because I did a collection video earlier in the month, so this is just everything since that video that I've made in July. Alright, so let's get started. This month I've actually been doing some alphas, and I pretty much haven't done alphas before. I've done, I think I did one single color one that I later embroidered on. So these are actually have patterns in them. So I think they kind of count Where's that other one almost didn't. It at least kind of helped me get a handle on how to keep my tension pretty even when I'm, you know, knotting onto base strings that way. And so these ones are pretty much all the alphas I've made that have a pattern in them. So the way that these are different from regular alphas though, well I guess they're actually kind of like the original way to do alphas because I used only the colors of the base string and then like one background color to create the pattern. So I know a lot of the newer versions of alphas that I've seen and I actually thought that was the only way to do them until recently and I learned this technique was where all the strings kind of are in the back kind of showing and floating across the back and that's kind of why I hadn't done alphas yet because I mean I've done bracelets for years but I never did an alpha because I thought that that looked kind of messy and I'm kind of a perfectionist so I didn't really want to do a bracelet that had a back like that but since you know I learned this technique which is called the two-tone or the regular alpha technique. It basically, you only use the threads that are the base color or this, and you're either knotting with your background color onto your base strings, or you're knotting with your base strings onto your background color. So you never really have to float any strings across. Um, this is the first one I made, and it's a little geometric, kind of like Aztec-y pattern. I did another video on this using this for the tutorial. It was kind of a not with me, learn with me when I was learning this technique. So you, this video might come out before or after that. Um, but if you if the other video comes up before, you'll already have seen it. And I basically used black for the base strings and I used a rainbow over dyed floss that is made by Threadworks for the um, background color or for your weft string. I'm not sure exactly what that's called. And it is really beautiful. I love the contrast. The only thing is the thread works only comes in about a meter length. So I did have to switch out my string or just add in new string about I think seven times for this one because I couldn't get a thread length longer than a meter to work with at a time. It ends up just fine. I hid all the ends as well as I could and it looks beautiful. And then I just did twisted ties and uh, triangle ends on that one. And then next I did this one and it's like a butterfly. These are all my own patterns so far. Um, so this one I think would be like a bookmark since it's kind of a vertical, you know, motif. Um, and then I used ombre threads in the base colors so that you could get some color variation rather than it just being two colors. Whereas this one has color variation because it's a color changing or color shifting string. And then this one has the ombre. I used a, you know, a, a gradient in the base strings. So you can see it kind of gives a vertical stripe on the butterfly part. And then they have the navy solid in the background for contrast. And then I did something kind of experimental on the ends I used the um, the base strings and I started creating a chevron with them. First I kind of finished this to a point with just the regular alpha technique and then I started making a chevron. And then I actually made this little guy which is like um, alpha technique again going back and forth in a chevron shape. 
and then back to a uh, normal triangle ends, which created this kind of like rainbow finish. So I think that turned out really cool. And then I did twisted ties. So this one's really kind of got a lot going on, but I think it looks really cool, even though it's kind of got a lot, a lot of things happening with it. Um, if, I, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this, let me know, because it is kind of a mix of several, of like normal and um, alpha, and then doing the two-tone, and then, you know, I don't know, this is, if, you need a, if you need a video on any of that, let me know. And then last night I finished this one, but I started it, um, oh no, today I finished this one, but I started it on the 29th or the 30th, so I, I'm counting it for July. This one's only two colors, so I didn't do any color variation in this one, but I'm actually, I love two-tone or two-color patterns. And so this one's again that like same technique. So was this one, I don't know if I showed the back. That's the back. <laughs> My cat's meowing. Um, yeah, so you'll notice with this, the way that you see the knot's direction kind of switches when you do the um, base strings knotting onto the um, onto the other string. So on a normal alpha, these will all be kind of vertical. Whereas with this technique, you get some going horizontal and some going vertical. And this is my own pattern also. I'll put the pattern number here, just be aware. Um, there's a mistake on my pattern on bracelet book. I forgot this last knot on my pattern that I uploaded, but it's, you know, I think you'll figure it out if you take a look at it. It's just, I'm kind of annoyed that I, that I did that. Anyway, perfectionist problems. So this one turned out pretty cool. Oh, I did another thing that's like kind of interesting on this one. I finished it instead of a total triangle point. I did a, like a triangle that I started and then I went straight across. So it's kind of like half an octagon, you know, shape at the ends. So I think that's pretty fun. And then I switched to like normal knotting and then did like three rows of that plus finishing out this little section and then did a normal triangle end and then twisted ties. So that one turned out really cool. I love this little like kind of earthy tones, just like two colors, a little boho guy. I think it looks really cool, kind of like folky. So those are my alphas for this month. Um, and pretty much the only alphas I've done ever. This one was for a challenge, for a bracelet book challenge. Um, I think week two July challenge. So there's official challenges on bracelet book and you can kind of like earn little rewards. All they are is just a number next to your, your profile picture um, that like, you know, indicates that you participated. I am a moderator on Bracelet Book now, so uh, this was actually from the challenge that I created. I had to pick a bunch of different patterns and, you know, try to, and that's actually how I got into doing the alphas. I was doing, you know, I have like a million to-dos of normal patterns in my Bracelet Book account, but then I didn't have any alphas, so I had to kind of look through and find some that I thought would be interesting for others, and then it got me interested in making one. But um, this was one of the normal patterns that I picked for the challenge, and I thought it was really cool. It's like a simple kind of alternating chevron, but it has diamonds in there, and it's, it's I don't know, it's super fun. I don't know if I showed this on my last, um, on my, I don't know, on my bracelet collection, but if I did, I'm sorry, it's a repeat. And then I have the four strand round braid here. And that's that. And then these I think I did show in my bracelet collection video, my last one, but they weren't finished and now they're finished. So these are just some kind of border, bordered diamond type patterns and I'll provide the number. So this one was kind of a pain. It was like, if I made it five diamonds, it was too long, and if I made it four, it was a little short, but I prefer them a little bit short rather than too long. And this one somehow ended up longer, even though it has the same type of string and the same exact pattern, so I don't know how that happened. It just happens sometimes. Um, and I really like the, the mix of like earth tones and like a color in here, so I have like peach and olive, and here I have browns with the teal. This I really love because it's like colors I really 
I don't know. They just talk to me. I like them. Or speak to me. <laughs> they don't talk to me. Um, here I have a couple bracelets I want to include in a fail video. So it's kind of like where I ran out of string because I didn't cut the, the string long enough. So I guess there'll be little bookmarks or if I, you know, have a younger person with a smaller wrist, maybe I can give those to one of my friend's kids or something. So, but I used that Threadworks color changing string here. And then this one's just like a two color. And then I did do another version of the, um, the one with the Threadworks color changing that's actually the size that I can wear. I had to switch out the string once, which you can kind of see it. I didn't do it perfectly, so it's not 100% straight right where I switched out the string. But I think it turned out well anyway. And then, what else did I do? Oh, I also have this little guy. I was playing with that thread work string again. This one's instead of the like pastel rainbow, is kind of tones of like like pastel berry kind of colors and then like warm tones as well. Um, I'll try to provide the um, the color for you guys if you're interested in buying that somewhere. Um, you know, it's, I think it's, this one's called like Wildflowers, but it has a number code and I don't remember what this one's called, but I'll try to find it. And I just did a little zigzag with a dot. I've been doing kind of smaller ones lately because I've been really, really busy. I have a lot of life stuff going on. So I'm just picking, um, ever since that started, I've just been doing like smaller ones. So all the ones towards the end of the month were smaller like this. And then these ones, I think they were done another time, but I just never really showed them, so I'm going to show them here. So this is a four strand round braid that I just did as a bracelet. It's a little short, so again, that'll be for like a friend with a kid or a kid's friend, you know, or a friend's kid. And then same here, and it's the, I think it's like two or three different colors um, and a like four strand regular braid and then it almost looks like color shifting thread because they're kind of blended together. And then this is, uh, I think this was from a tutorial I did and it's an alternating chevron um, fishtail braid. So, you know, these little techniques for braids can really actually be cute bracelets too. And then I have a twisted tie kind of one that was leftover thread, I think, from this bracelet. So I think it's the same ones, just I had like extra long for the the off-white and the, um, the olive. So I made a little twisted tie bracelet that can coordinate with that one. And then I have two more that are sort of pastels in the, um, the fishtail braid with the offset fishtail. So yeah, those are all my bracelets for the month of July that I didn't already show. I think I didn't already show in my bracelet collection two video. So if you haven't seen that one, go ahead and check it out because that has some more stuff to look at. And then I have my original like bracelet collection video. I think I did it quite a while back, maybe a year ago or something. So I'll link those all in the description and you can go check them out if you want. And then from now on, I think I'm going to do a monthly wrap up if I can. And I know I like keep promising you videos and then I, you know, don't have time to edit them. I'll like film them and then not, not post them for a while. And just please bear with me. I have a lot going on and, um, but it'll all be done soon. And yeah, I'm actually, yeah, so I'll let you know when I, when I post, I'll, I'll announce it on my Instagram, and then you'll see it, of course, pop up here if you're subscribed, so I hope you subscribe, and I hope you like the video, and share it if you like, and that'll help me get more followers, and the more followers and subscri subscribers I have, then I can do more videos, because I'm not yet monetized, I need a lot more watch hours, I have enough um, subscribers, but not enough watch hours, so if you feel like sharing the video, that would be great too. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and um, happy crafting, I'll see you next time!